In the previous video, we briefly looked at points and lines in the PixPro software. Now let's do the same with the Polygon tool for measuring areas and with the help of a digital elevation map, volumes. Let's begin by drawing a polygon. You can find the Add Polygon tool in the vertical toolbar or by right-clicking the Polygons folder in the Layers panel. Start drawing the shape with the left mouse button. Continue the same and for the closing segment, don't try to connect the dots. A single click of the right mouse button will do just that. Polygon is represented in the 3D view as well as in the Polygons folder in the Layers panel. Polygons can also be created from already drawn lines and from a single contour line. Let's right click on the Polygon in the Layers panel and skim through the options we have here. Polygon Editor opens up the Polygon Editor where you can inspect all photos containing the Polygon. Rename Polygon self-explanatory, give your poly a name. Edit Point is for editing point placement. Left click and drag points you wish to move, right click to stop editing. Delete Point just click on points you want to delete, right click to stop editing. Insert point lets you create a new point in between two other points in the polygon. And again, right click to stop editing. You have a project so big you lost a polygon? Use the scope to polygon option. In case you drew a polygon on another layer than a current digital elevation map you use, select Projected Digital Elevation Map Surface so all measurements are present and accurate. Duplicate Polygon creates an exact copy of the original polygon. Export Polygon lets you export the polygon in most popular formats. See note number 1 in the video description. In case you need to export polygon as points, there is an option just for that. Remove Polygon irreversibly deletes the polygon. Now let's make sure our polygon is selected and look into its properties panel. Here we can see the name of the polygon, how many points it contains and the ground truth option is also here. Check it if you don't want your polygon affected by changes done to project's referencing. Graphical properties lets you change line color and weight, points color and radius. We can show polygon measurement of choice in the 3D view as an annotation. For 2D calculations, we have horizontal perimeter. That is the perimeter of polygon's projection on a straight ground plane perpendicular to the gravitational vector. And area 2D is a measurement of mentioned projections area. For 3D measurements, we have surface perimeter. That is the perimeter of polygon's projection on a digital elevation map surface, while sideline perimeter is a simply the sum of lengths of polygon segments you drew. Area 3D is a calculation of digital elevation map surface area within the boundaries of the polygon. Then we have volume above and volume below. These are volume calculations of space in between the polygon's base plane and the digital elevation map surface. So in case of measuring stockpiles, seek volume above. For measuring pits, volume below. For base surfaces, aka base planes, we have fitted, maximum, medium, minimum, as well as a custom height plane. All of these planes are flat and all except the fitted plane are perpendicular to the gravitational vector. Fitted plane is angled in a way so it matches your original polygon as closely as possible while still being flat. It's an easiest base plane to use and great for taking quick measurements. There also is a more advanced elevation model base plane, but that's the topic for a whole separate video. We also suggest checking our blog post 
base planes in photogrammetry. Link in the video description. At the bottom of the properties panel, we have a profile tool, which lets you inspect the polygon's perimeter presented as a cross section of elevation map surface. Then we have a timeline tool for comparing two or more digital elevation maps. And finally, some modeling options for manipulating digital elevation map surface. These are also more advanced topics for another day. And when it comes, see links in the video description.